Hi, this is Cesar Gonzalez. I'm here with Justin. Hey, how's it going? Where he's at, he's with Asteroid Comics, and we're gonna give him a few questions. Uh, so, looking, you have actually have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. I actually found the Death in the Family that I was looking for. How more, like, is this your whole stuff, or you still have more stuff? No, this is not even a quarter of what we have. Um, everything is online, and we have it all itemized. And we also saw out of a flea market at Uncle John's. That's so cool. Yeah, because usually when when I, you know, I, I, for me it's actually kind of I don't like finding through comics just because it it, it makes it gives flares up my anxiety because I can't find anything. But yours was actually pretty cool. It was nice and yeah, uh, we, try to, we try to keep everything organized and everything online is itemized, so it's all in a searchable form. So what actually got you into the comic business? Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I just been into comics and collecting and. I started buying up collections and started selling, and from there, it's history. So what actually are your key issues that you actually have for yourself, like your price collections? Um, I'm a big fan of Ren and Stimpy. I have all the Ren and Stimpies. I have all the Beavis and Buttheads. I have some early issues of The Walking Dead before it was, like, you know, before it, before it got big. So, um, But those, those would be key issues for me. Okay, so I mean, I've been asking this question, too. What do you prefer, Mar Marvel, DC, or independent, like in the, in the independent circuit? I like independent comics. I like independent. There's this comic called Crossed, and it's really good. It's a uh, start off as an independent. I think they're about to get picked up by a bigger company, but yeah. So uh, like, like right now, what do you think of the movie, of the com comic verse, like right now? Is it? Do you think it's a little better from? how it was in the 80s and 70s or do you think it's it's just watered down and diluted um i think it's i definitely think it's growing because as you can see all the movies are coming out and as the movies come out the comics sell so i definitely think it's growing and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just becoming a big community and you know so right now what what actually do you follow like do you follow the marvel comic movies or do you actually are like with me where i'm a dc fan and I've and it's been and, and I follow I try to follow the movies, but it's been a little disappointing. But I follow a little bit of I f honestly follow a little bit of everything just because we have, you know, I can't say DC Marvel because we sell them. So like I deal with people that are DC Marvel independent, you know, everything. So I just when I can when I have time to sit down and read some of our comics, I just read and read and read. So right now it's 2017. What actually are you looking forward to, like comic wise, movie wise, anything? Uh, comic wise, um. Like I said, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, and I've and I've been before the show came out, and I mean I really enjoy the show, and I, I love the comics, so you know I'm constantly waiting for the new one to come out. But I would definitely say that's my favorite. You know what? Not thinking talking about The Walking Dead. What I actually think now where they they introduce Negan, like do you like where the story's heading? Because uh, you know there's been a lot of people where either it's getting a little too violent, which is kind of crazy to me. Or there's been like also saying like the ratings have been falling a little bit, which to me, to me, I feel like the story, the story has actually gotten better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Negan's actually my favorite character in the comic, and uh, I don't know if you want me to tell you what happens in the comic or not, but it's it's past the show. But they spoiler alert, spoiler. They eventually capture Negan, and they they hold him captive, in um, in like a little jail cell, in the I don't know if you I don't know if you read that or not, but. Yeah, the, the, yeah. So, but Negan's like my favorite character. And it's cool. I like spoiling things, so it's yeah. fine. Spoiler alert. <laughs> no, Negan's awesome. Um, so, w what comic would you actually like to see, like a live action of? Like, there's, you know, there's still a lot of comics that we haven't seen that maybe we. Like, for me, I would like to see uh, another try to spawn, <laughs> yeah. even though Todd McFarlane has been teasing that for like years, and yeah. What would I like to see? I mean, Spawn would be cool. Um, man, I can't even. There's, there's, there's a ton. I mean, because like, you could look here and just see like all the different issues that we have that that just come to it. The runs just come to an end, you know. So I'm constantly like waiting for new ones to come out. But Spawn, yeah, Spawn would be a good one for me. Also, Swamp Thing. I feel like his story is actually really cool. Creature from the Black Lagoon, all like the old ones, stuff like that. Um, Tales from the Crypt. That was a really good. That was that was a really yeah. That one's actually coming out with M Night Shyamalan directing. It's coming back. It's coming. Yeah, they're they're bringing it back. But uh, that was a really good comic series. That's yeah, how it started. Okay. That's how the show started. It started uh, comic. Yeah. yeah. Started as a comic. Nice. So one last question: If you would make your own comic, 
Like, what would it be? Like, what, like, what powers, whatever, well, who would you fight? It would be post-apocalyptic, uh, like, zombie. Zombie comics, definitely. But I am not really artistic at all, so I couldn't, I couldn't do it. But that's what it would be. And if you had, like, a, like, if you could cross over with another company, like, what company would you like to cross over with? Like, maybe work for, or do a collaboration, stuff like that? Um... Like I said, like Marvel or DC, I mean, anybody that's anybody that's big, really, you know, that's going to push us. Uh, it's a good question. I'm not really sure who I'd want to work with. It's fine. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Um, you want to say your information so people know where to find it? Um, it's asteroid-comics.com is our website. And from there, you can get to our uh, online store. And um, we're on Facebook. Look us up, Asteroid Comics. And uh, yeah, everything's up. Thank you very much, and thanks for the comment. I'll be looking for it. Cool, man. Thanks a lot.